guys welcome to another fishing planet video we're gonna do another mission and this time it's the pike hunt 2 shed jig bait uh, show everyone what a masterful pike catcher you are by using sheds for catching pike on lake quenchkin white moose and saint crux all right so we need to equip the shed jig bait i already did then we need to go to quenchkin catch a chain pickerel that's one and a half kilogram plus White Moose, catch a Northern Pike, 5 kg plus. St. Crux, catch Muskie, that's 10 kg plus. And in St. Crux, we need to catch a Muskie, that's 15 kg plus. That's a big one, at least a big trophy. But, yeah, I think we can do it, guys. Uh, so, yeah, we will start at Quanskin Lake, but of course you want to know what gear I'm using. Uh, before I'm showing that, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And put the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. If you like the video, put a thumbs up under it. Don't forget it. And you can always leave a comment. So that's said and done. Let's go to my inventory and let's see where I'm fishing with. Um, the first two lakes, I'm going to use my Tetris 250. That's a 25.5 kilogram rod. With my Empress 7000, that's a 25.2 kilogram reel. I got braid 0 0.29 on it, uh, titanium leader 0 0.4, it's a little bit bigger, but, and of course jig head, and I'm gonna start with the shed 15 centimeter yellow and red, don't know if it works, I catch all the fish before, but not with sheds, but I think we can do it, so yeah guys, let's go and travel to the first water, and that's St. Kwanskin Lake. So here we go, no boats allowed, no problem, we don't need a boat. And I will show you there where I'm going to fish. And in the meantime, guys, I'm going to start here. In the meantime, don't forget, push the subscription button in the right bottom. It's totally free, costs you nothing. So let's go fishing. And let's see if we can catch that chain pickerel. I think it's possible, but I have no idea how long it will take with the shed. Like I said, I I haven't catched them with sheds before, but I think we will be able to. So right here we go. Oh, I forgot something, but that's going to a private room. But I will do that later. Let's go for the walk. All right, here we are. And there, on those markers, I want to fish. So guys, as soon as I catch the fish, I will show you the marker and I will show you the fish. So see you as soon as I got him, guys. All right, here we go. We got us a nice trophy chain pickerel, 1.6 kilograms. That's what we need. That's one and a half kilogram plus. And my god, I love this color of this fish. They're so shiny. Alright. So we got this one. We keep it. Uh, I used uh, a shed 15 centimeter. Let's check. It's the shed 15 centimeter grass green. With the jig head 25 gram of 4 hour hook. <coughs> so that's where I catch him with. Now let's check the marker for this one. And the marker is minus 61.86 at minus 55.86. And you saw where I went on this bridge here. So when you spawn at this house, you turn to the right and then you walk over this bridge until here. I'm not on the corner, a little further. And yeah, I throw out there and there I catch him in this area. So very nice. Now let's travel to White Moose Lake, guys. And let's see if we can catch a northern pike that's bigger than 5 kilograms. So guys, see you at Wise Moose, Wise Moose Lake. Oh yeah. Alright guys, welcome to White Moose Lake. Uh, I'm gonna spawn on this spot. Here. That's where I always go when I want pike here. So I think we can catch them here now also. No, I don't need this, trust me. I just walk to this side. And you see a marker there, and that's the area where I normally cast. Uh, like I said, 
I didn't fish for the pike here with shit, but I think we can catch them. So, guys, as soon as I got him, like usual, I'm back with you, and I share with you the marker, and I share with you what shed I used to catch him. So, guys, see you as soon as I got the fish. Okay guys, we already got a nice fish on. This was the first throw. I have no idea if it's the pike that we need. Yes, it is. So the first throw, I got a trophy northern pike. 6.2 kilograms, that's what we need. 5 kilogram plus. So this was uh, easy. Very, very nice. We keep this one and let's show you the marker guys. Here we go. On the plus, okay. So this is the marker. 81.50, 81.85 at 110.76. It was in the early morning. It was my first throw, and I catch him with this the same shed I catch the previous fish, the the two color green, 15 centimeters, and with the same. Let's go with the same uh, jig, jig head, also the 25 gram uh, 4.0 hook and the grass green shed 15 centimeters and I throw in and then I immediately on the lowest uh, rod uh, reel on one uh, spot, how do you call it, like this, on number one. I just reel in and I do twitch twitching and I got him in the first throw so this went very nice so now we go to St. Crux and there we need to catch two muskies one that's 10 kilogram plus and one that's 15 kilogram plus what will happen if the first fish we catch is 15 kilogram plus we will see I have no idea so let's go to St. Crux and see you there guys all right, here we are, St. Crux, uh, Fairy Tail Fishing, St. Crux Lake, that's where we're gonna start, that's here, because we're going with a boat, because we're going to, as I call, Musky Corner, it's in the same area where you normally catch a lot of pike, and there you also catch the musky, but in the corner, that's why I call it Musky Corner. So let's pump up the engine and let's go. It's not that far of a ride with the boat because the boat is quite fast. Right here we go. We go to the left here. And on the end of this area where I'm going in, there also you guys go for Pike. Pike Alley. But it's not just Pike Alley. Let's break here in front of me. That's musky corner. So let's go and try to catch a musky 10 kilogram plus. I think I'm first gonna try this rod that I'm using all the time. It's uh, let's see, it's a 25.5 kilogram rod. I know musky can become quite big so. I don't know if it's risky. Uh, maybe I just don't put down the anchor and I try it with this. Would I lose a fish by biting my lure or whatever? I'm always able to get my nail chasseur. But first we try the tetas. So guys, as soon as I got a fish, I'm back with you. Alright guys, here we go. We did two things at once. I got a trophy muskie that's 15.3 kilograms. And I finished the mission. So very nice. That's what I... <coughs> I'm sorry. That's what I asked to myself when, I were, when we were fishing at the previous lake. 
what will happen if I get one that's 15 kilogram or more? Do I also finish the mission? And the answer is yes. And I love this fish, guys. They are beautiful. But like I said, we finished the mission. So we keep this and let's see what we got. And then I will tell you the marker and what I use. Mission accomplished. Pike hunt to shed jig bait. <coughs> I'm sorry. Wonderful catch and good work. Take these rewards. 7880 XP. 6200 bucks. And 3 coins. And trophy mono 0 0.5. And a nice trophy single spoon 42 grams 4.0. I'm happy with it. I love it. So let's claim this. And then I will show you guys the marker. Yes, we claim this also. And this we claim also. And now I will show you the marker. It's in the corner, like I showed you. Set the marker. Trophy musky at minus 117.44 and minus 359.97. I catch him with the uh, yellow red shed 15 centimeters. But I changed my setup a little. Because before I had uh, a jig bait that was 25 grams, uh, 4.0, I went to uh, 30 grams, 6.0, and with the yellow and red shed 15 centimeters, and I just did like stop and go and twitching a little bit. It just depends on what the <coughs> shed is doing, but yeah. Guys, I'm happy that I got him. I finished the mission. I hope this video will help you guys to also finish this mission and catch these beautiful fish. And if this video helps you a, a little, guys, please thumbs up another video. And maybe you can support me a little by subscribing. Push notification bell so you will get a notification every time I upload a video. And if you like the video and it helped you, you can always leave a message. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next video, and I would say, guidelines.